What's up party people, Lauren here, and in today's video, we're talking about abstract painting. We're gonna go over three different painting ideas to provide you with some inspiration for your next watercolor painting, or if you're just looking to unwind and relax, this is a great creative activity to do. I'm gonna be using a mix of greens and yellows, which are next to each other on the color wheel, also known as analogous colors. This is a great exercise in understanding color theory. But first, let's prep our paper with some water. Grab a paintbrush, load it up with some clean water, and simply brush it over your first section that you'll be working with, making sure to leave a nice, even glossy coating of water on the paper. Next, switch to a smaller paintbrush, give it a little dunk in the swimming pool, and I'm gonna start with this pretty light green color, and simply drop splashes of paint onto the wet paper. This is called a wet on wet technique, and you'll notice that the water helps to spread or bloom the paint across the paper as you fill up your paper with splashes of color, don't worry about creating shapes or anything that looks like something. Remember, this is abstract. Just focus on the colors. Pretend like you're making some tie-dye and just have fun here. For our next painting, let's continue our exploration of color through shapes. I'm going to use squares, but you could easily do this activity with circles, triangles, you name it. Simply draw your shape on your paper and then see if you can create a lighter version of that color by scraping some of the paint off on the lip of your cup like this. Let's do that one more time to create an even lighter color green. This is a great practice in color value or the lightness and darkness of a color. Next, I'm going to choose a different color from my color palette. And then I'll draw a smaller square inside of the bigger squares to see how these colors look next to each other. Let's keep going until we filled up our entire paper with shapes, alternating which colors we use. Oh, and for all my art history geeks out there, we're drawing inspiration from this famous painting called Squares with Concentric Circles. Anybody know who the artist is?
Our last piece is all about lines. We're just going to fill up our paper with horizontal lines and I know that sounds overly simple, but trust me on this, you're gonna love it. Just choose a color to start with, paint a line across your paper, and notice, did you create a thick line, a thin line? Is it straight or curvy? Maybe it's a dashed line. See if you can make your next line a little bit different. Maybe you'll practice lightening, light, lightening that color with water. Maybe you'll try out some dashed lines or dots or loop-de-loops. I love this practice because I find it really helpful to have a few constraints where I'm just focusing on color and lines and then just letting my mind wander as I fill up the paper. I'm not worried about creating something uh, or trying to, trying to get it right. I'm just letting loose, filling up the paper with lines. And I find that the more I do this, the more I get inventive, the more creative I get with the lines that I choose. So I hope that this is a helpful, soothing, and perhaps even meditative art lesson for you. Before we go, let's go back to the first painting that we created because I wanna show you something that I love to do with pen or Sharpie, and that is to trace around different shapes that I see in the paint. This is so fun, you guys, and very relaxing. Now, I wish I could take credit for this because I think it is such a great practice, but I have to give a shout out to Andrea Nelson Art. You can find her on Instagram and probably YouTube, I actually haven't checked, but that's where I got this idea from and I highly recommend that you go back to your first painting and just trace around anything that you see. Maybe you'll decide to trace around animals that you see in the paint or maybe they're just super random crazy lines. Whatever you do, it's super fun. And that's all that I have for today. I hope you enjoy this, until next time, Happy painting. I'll be coming out with some new videos every week. Stay tuned for more. Peace.